by default all pods in an AKS cluster can send and receive traffic without limitations. We all know that we have covered these things in the previous videos. And to improve security, you need to define rules that control the flow of traffic. For example, when you run modern microservices based applications in Kubernetes, you often want to control which components can communicate with each other. The principle of least privilege should be applied to how traffic can flow between pods in an AKS cluster. This is you can relate it with the uh, virtual machines. We do create the subnets on the basis of web, app, and database and allow the communication with the help of NSGs. But NSGs can only help you on the node level. And here we are talking about the pod level. So if I take the communication further, backend applications are often only exposed to the required front-end services or database components are only accessible to the application tier that connect to them. Hello and welcome to the network policies. What we all talk about can be resolved with the help of network policies. So in today so video we are going to talk about network policies a bit and in next video we'll do the demonstration so now we understood why we need the network policies okay let's try to understand the network policies usage with the help of this diagram so as you can see uh, I'm talking about the managed services AKS, so we are not creating the master node, we are only creating the worker nodes. So let's suppose we have uh, worker node 1, worker node 2, and we have these pods in red color. Let me write this down, and these are pods. Now, by default, in AKS, these pods can talk to each other, you can see. Okay. With the help of network policies, what we will do, we will apply deny policy. Deny policy. Okay. And the thing that we need to uh, understand, we can only deny or we can only apply the policies while we are creating uh, the cluster not once it is already been created okay so network policy is a is actually a kubernetes feature that is uh, also applicable on aks and this will help us control the traffic flow between the parts so this is the crux what we were talking about till now so once you apply the deny policy once you apply the deny uh, policy then what happens everything is blocked and now you can only allow what needs to be allowed as I said at the very beginning least privilege principle okay so this is how we go with the network policies architecture we deny all and we only allow what needs to be allowed always remember we cannot apply the policies once the cluster is created or cannot change the policy once cluster is created okay now let's talk about the options that we have in AKS for the network policies so we have two options one is called Azure network policies and there is one more option which is Calico Calico is an open source uh, network security solution founded by Tigera and Azure network policy is Azure so as the name says you will get the Azure support when you uh, apply 
Azure Network Policies. But for Calico, you are not supposed to call uh, if there is a network policies policies related issue to the Azure, but to the Calico. Okay. And these both these both policies uses Linux IP tables to enforce the specified policies. Policies are translated into sets of allowed and disallowed IP pairs. These pairs are then programmed as IP table filter rules. Just an FYI. Okay, so best way to approach with the network policy is to apply the deny all rule first and then only allow with the help of pod labels, namespaces, and pods. Okay. Wonderful. Now let's try to create one diagram as per the production architecture uh, works. Okay. So let me get rid of this first. Now let's suppose, uh, let me remove this as well. Let's suppose how uh, this works in the production environment. Let's suppose this is your worker node and we have these parts. Okay. You can you can say Let's suppose this is in a uh, pod with app is equal to web. That is the label. This is another pod where app is equal to API. And we have this pod where app is equal to DB. Similarly, this DB has this service. API has this service and web has this service to cater the requests. Okay, so let's call it a cluster IP, uh, which is running on, let's suppose, port 1500. There is another service, cluster IP, which is running on, let's suppose, 8080 or 8081, that's fine. Then we have load balancer service. Service which is running on port 80. Let's suppose this is a basic infrastructure of or, or architecture for your uh, AKS cluster. That's how the pod is running in your work node. And the very first thing what you'll do, we are talking in respect to the network policies we will deny all rules will be applicable and then we'll allow as per pod level or namespace for example if we talk about this particular scenario this api pod will talk to the db on some port and web will talk to the API on some port, okay? This web would be allowed from the outside on port 80, okay? Now, we may need to allow uh, this and this, let's suppose for the DNS. So we need to open the uh, traffic as per the namespace for cube system. Okay, namespace and also the allow rule. Oh, different uh, arrow, allow rule, right? On the port, let's suppose we are talking about DNS, then port 53. Okay, so what we did, we deny the all rules, 
then we uh, allow as per the port level namespace the first thing we did db network policy we created okay then we then the api network policy we created and then the web network policy now we are in control of all the traffic which is coming in or which is coming out nobody is going to talk to each other without any limitation so that's how we utilize the network policies and make our cluster more secure well in next video we will perform the demonstration to understand it better and thanks for watching and you have a good day bye bye